Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and in this video series, I'll walk you through the React challenges at FreeCodeCamp.com. In uh, this video, uh, right now, we're working on Project 2, Build a Camper Leaderboard, and um, we're going to build out our last component, the Camper List Item component. So uh, just to you know, recap what we've been doing so far, this is the finished product, um, and we have our app level component, and what it does, it, it, it displays this header, these two buttons, and it nests inside of it one child component, which is our table. The table um, receives a, an array of campers as props. And, uh, and now we're going, to, um, we're going to iterate through uh, each item in that array, and we're gonna generate a, uh, a whole bunch of camper list item components nested inside of our table component. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, um, going to create um, well let's see before we do that let's let's do this right here um, I'm going to say uh, ba, 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 ba. All right, I'm gonna let's see actually let's see I'm never quite sure how to handle this first let me set up the uh, camper list item component let's do that first okay so new file a camper list item.js, okay, and um, this is going to be a functional component as well, so we don't need state, we don't need lifecycle methods or anything like that. Let's go ahead and put down some boilerplate, so import react from react, and I'm going to say const camper list item equals, and we're going to do some props, that arrow function, and uh, let's just say return, uh, right, and let's just say um, camper item. Okay, good. And then we will just export default camper list item. So remember, um, you know, anytime you're going to you know, import a component into some place, you need to export it. So we exported it right here, and I'm going to import it here. So import camper list item from, okay, we're in the same directory, and camper list item. Okay, wonderful. All right, so... You can probably guess that we're going to nest this camper list item component inside of our camper list component. So uh, this camper list item will be the child and camper list will be the parent, which means we can pass props from camper list to camper list item. Okay, so first thing I want to do, I want to create a, a list uh, of campers. Okay, list of campers. Um, so a list of campers, um, let's, let's use, well, let's think about this for a second. Okay, we know props.campers, or in this, case, in this um, case, campers, we know this is an array of objects, okay? And for, for each object or for each element in that array, we're going to create a new camper list item and we're gonna insert it right here between T body. So we need, um, we need our, um, we need like it, like to return a new array, uh, which is a good, uh, a good, very good, um, you know, use case for the map method, which is just, uh, just a, um, just an array method in JavaScript. So let's go ahead and use that right now. I'm gonna create a variable, I'm gonna say const, um, I'm going to call it const items, and that's going to be equal to campers, okay? And really, it's props.campers, but we use this shorthand uh, to to make it easier. Campers dot map, okay? And then uh, let's just use a fat arrow function. That's going to be a lot easier. So that's um, you know each one is going to be camper. Okay. Good. And then we're going to return uh, for each one a camper list item, okay? And we're going to reference this um, this um, you know JavaScript variable down here. So let's just put 
um, items right there. Okay, great. Uh, so camper list items, it's only going to return this text called camper item. Um, but, you know, let's, let's go ahead and let's see what that uh, looks like here. And it's probably going to look messy, but that's okay. So we're going to go back to our screen. I'm going to refresh. Okay, and I'm getting I'm getting a couple of errors here. I'll talk about those in just a moment. But look at that. Okay, I got a hundred pieces of text right here, and they each say camper item. So I am iterating through our campers object um, that we got from app, and I am mapping over each one. And uh, it's creating a new array, basically. And in that array uh, will be uh, 100 camper list items. And right now, it's not doing anything magical for us. It's just printing this text camper item. So now we can take information from uh, our you know, camper object here and pass it as props to our um, you know, camper list items component. So uh, we're going to use the props right here to, to build something out. Okay. So um, one thing that you might have noticed here, this first error, is, uh, let's blow that up. Okay, it says, uh, warning, each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key property. Check the render method of camper list. All right, well, that's uh, really easy to fix. Whoops, clicked on that. Don't need to click on that. Uh, let's, yeah, make that better. Okay. And uh, I'm going to just give it a, a key. Okay. So by the way, map, it takes, um, you know, it can take like one argument and like some optional arguments. So the second optional argument is index. That just refers to the index number of, um, of our camper list item. All right, so, uh, you know, in order to get rid of this error right here, Okay, we need to give it a key property. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to say key, and it has to be a unique value. So we can, you know, do camper for the key, or we can do index for the key. It doesn't really matter. Let's just do camper, or let's do index. Okay, that's better. All right, so I'm going to save that, and then... Okay, so now uh, we got this error right here. Uh, that just has to do with the uh, HTML of our table, but that, um, uh, that warning that we got uh, earlier about the key, it has gone uh, because we um, just included this key uh, property. So anytime you're working like with an array and you're going to be returning components like this, uh, just make sure you pass it a key and then you shouldn't get any warnings like that. Okay, let's go back to our camper item. We're going to get rid of this, and instead, um, I'm just going to copy and paste some, some code right here uh, just to get us up and running really fast. Okay, and this is basically um, our, our code. Um, so we have a tr tag, and in each one, a, you know, several td tags. So I mean, you can go right here, and uh, I, mean, I mean, you should... You, you, you might already know the HTML for tables, but here we have our header, and then we have a T body. Well, for each row inside of the T body, you need a TR tag, so table row, and then inside of your TR, you're going to have several pieces of data. So this will refer to, um, you know, the the number. Um, uh, yeah, I'll show this to you right here. This will refer to the number. We need a T, TD tag for username and for for the points as well. Okay, so uh, if, um, so that's what we have uh, to work with, um, and I'm just going to go here. Let's see. Oops, that's the finished project. All right. So we're nearly done. Uh, we got our key, and then I'm just going to say camper is equal. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to say, actually, huh, what is, I need to see the properties, actually. I'm going to add this console.log uh, campers. Let me just see what I'm working with right here. So I'm going to save that. Let me just make sure I saved everything. Okay. And, oh, oh cannot find module camper list. Oops, I have an error, guys. That's okay. 
Oh, it's probably because of this. I left it empty. All right, let's just save it again. Okay, now I got my object. All right, cool. So uh, each object it has, uh, okay, it has a username and it has a recent and an all time property. Okay, so that's what I need. I need a recent and then the all time uh, property. All right, so let's. Let's just give it um, here. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to give it, um, I see, uh, it needs a key, so that's really important. It needs like a, a number, okay, it needs that. And then it needs a camper.recent and a camper.alltime. All right, uh, that'll be easy to do. So, oops. I'm going to two different uh, codes right here. All right, and I just copied and pasted this. All right, uh, let's just say camper equals, yeah, and then camper, All right? Great. And so, oh, I think optionally I need a, yeah, a number as well. Okay, so I'm going to say um, number, okay, and I'm just going to say index. Uh, plus one. Uh, so the the indexes, uh, you know, we're dealing with array. So the first one is going to be you know zero, uh, but you know I wanted to start with one, so that's why I'm just passing in index plus one. So we're going to return our camper list items, and we need the key property so we don't get that warning. I'm going to pass it a prop called camper, and I'm going to pass it a prop uh, called uh, number is, is, as well. And so we can access that with props.camper and props.number or we could just pass it in like this, camper and number. So number refers to this property here and then camper is going to refer to uh, the object, the current object um, in, in our campers array. And so we're going to have uh, table data for the number and then we're going to display the camper's username. So this is just an integer and this is an object, so we still need to say camper.username, and that's just gonna make it a, a link. Uh, camper.recent, it refers to uh, the points they've earned in the last 30 days, and then all time refers to the points that they've earned at, at, in all time. So uh, I'm gonna save all of that, and uh, now I'm going to uh, clear that and let's refresh. Okay, cool. All right, great. So now it looks like we have our data and it's styled with Bootstrap class. There we go. We got uh, one through a hundred and uh, we got, uh, you know, we've got our uh, links. It looks like they're working. And uh, yeah, we got the total points and the all time points. Let's go to the all time and look at that. Everything is working, and unlike the um, unlike the uh, what you call it, unlike the you know the the example on CodePen that you know Free Code can't provide it. You know they did a good job too, but look at our data; it loads instantaneously. And in the example, well, you have to wait about two or three hundred milliseconds for that data to load. I suppose because. Um, yeah, depending on how they coded it, I think they coded it like they make a request each time you click a button, but we took care of that right in the beginning, so we don't have to, you know, worry about that anymore. So that is pretty cool. Okay, so uh, we're coming up on 14 minutes here. Um, in the last video, I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you um, just a few little things to you know clean up our project and uh, and I'll also show you where you can find this uh, code uh, on GitHub. Okay, that's it for now. I will see you in the uh, final video. Bye bye.